this branch offers you to be a doctor to be a detective and at times it offers you to be a philosopher also because you develop the respect for the core concept of yes. this world in future like you can see about the dna profiling digital yes. forensics ai based crime scene reconstruction yes. this all is going to be integrated in our work culture the thrill you get from this branch is totally unmatched to any other branch of the medicine Definitely. Hello everyone and welcome to Medically Unscripted. I am Dr. Shivam Sharma from SNS Medical College in Hospital, Jaipur. And today we are with Dr. Vaibhav Sharma. He is doing post-graduation in MD Forensic Medicine. Hello Vaibhav. Hello Shivam. Thank you so much for inviting me to your channel bro. It's a pleasure. I would like to tell the audience that he is my batchmate. So today we have got a chance to interview with him. So Vaibhav, first of all, I would like to introduce you to our audience. Hello everybody, myself Dr. Vaibhav Sharma. Hello everybody, myself Dr. Vaibhav Sharma. Hello everybody, myself Dr. Vaibhav Sharma. Resident Medical Officer in the Department of Forensic Medicine at Nair Hospital, Mumbai. Thank you, Vaibhav, for being here. First of all, Vaibhav, I want to ask you what is forensic medicine? What is it all about? And if someone wants to pursue forensic medicine, why don't you need to pursue this branch? See, Shivam, forensic medicine, by definition, if we talk about, it's a branch of forensic medicine, which is forensic medicine, by definition, if we talk about, it's a branch of medicine, which deals with the application of medical knowledge in the court of law to administer the justice. means if in simpler term, terms we can say that uh, it is the bridge between the science and the law whenever there is a suspicious death or an injury assault or uh, say any medical legal doubt that's the time where our expertise is called in yes okay so uh, one can say that uh, uh, other doctors uh, uh, saves the lives of the patients we safeguard the truth and justice for the society yes, very much true तो वैभव मैं अब आपसे ये पूछना चाहूंगा कि हाउ फोरेंसिक मेडिसिन इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर स्पेशलिटीज सी फोरेंसिक मेडिसिन इज डिफरेंट इन अ वे दैट द अदर स्पेशलिटीज डील विद ट्रीटिंग प्राइमरीली द पेशेंट्स वाइल आर ब्रांच वी हैंडल द केसेस लाइक से इन सर्जरी द सर्जन ऑपरेट्स इन ओ टी वी इन्वेस्टिगेट इन द पी एम रूम लाइक अ फिजिशियन क्योर्स द डिजीजेस we cures the doubts and uncovers the truths so in that way uh, for instance i'll tell you that uh, i recently uh, handled a case where three daughters were brought uh, to our pm centers out of them two were died in highly uh, sus suspicious circumstances yeah. so the primary impression of the treating doctor was to uh, death due to leptospirosis but uh, the father has alleged his wife that maybe she has poisoned her his daughters okay uh, so we conducted the autopsy and uh, our findings were consistent with the poisoning yes so that means uh, you know uh, th that is the time like this was not just a post mortem it was decoding a story of the uh, of those victims who could not speak longer could not speak uh, about their stories yes so these type of things you can find only in the forensic medicine nowhere else yes, uh, very much true ever so uh, the next thing i want to ask you about uh, what role it play in public health care system uh, see uh, what happens is na people think that uh, forensic medicine is confined to the court room or to the pm rooms only but actually it shapes the public health policies likewise uh, like uh, i tell you uh, the uh, Uh, the road traffic accident data we share that data with the government which helps them to uh, formulate and reform the traffic laws uh, you can say that the sexual health uh, sexual offenses evaluations which highlights the areas of improvement uh, to strengthen the protection yes. laws so like my in my own uh, research under the immoral traffic prevention okay. act we studied the psychiatric and sexual health of the victims so this kind of data is not just a legal evidence uh, it's the mirror for the policy makers yes true how do you work with other professionals uh, such as lawyers or police in any forensic case or if you have dealt with any case you can share with us Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll I'll tell you that forensic is not a solo game. Nah, it's yes. a teamwork. Like the police brings us the facts and the evidence. We interpret them scientifically, and the lawyers translate them into the legal arguments. Yes. Okay. 
so uh, there was a case i once worked on a homicide case uh, in which there was a tattoo on the victim's body which became the key to identify the prime okay. suspect which in turn uh, led to the expedited the police investigation and apprehension of the accused hmm. who later got convicted also and confessed oh. his crime <laughs> matlab uh, see how this that was the moment which reaffirmed how powerful yes. this branch is and uh, the thrill you get from this branch is totally unmatched to any other branch of the medicine Definitely. now now uh, lot of people ask you about this branch so what are some common misconceptions yeah. in uh, general public about this branch if you encounter something the most commonest uh, misconception or say myth is like uh, people think about that this is the branch which deals only with the dead bodies so first of all this is not the case we also deal with the living cases say anti mortem cases like uh, the injury analysis like intoxication cases or say age estimation poxo cases sexual offenses sexual offenses evaluations the list is can go on and on so this is the biggest misconception that we only deal with the dead bodies also the second thing is uh, uh, people say that this is a scary field i would rather say that this is a uh, it's deeply meaningful matlab this branch offers you to be a doctor to be a detective and at times it offers you to be a philosopher also because you develop the respect for the core concept of yes. this world the life yes. and death so that's that's you can find nowhere else of course yes हमारे पास बहुत सारे ऐसे कमेंट्स आए हैं नीतिजी फोरेंसिक मेडिसिन के लिए तो बहुत आए हैं कि व्हाट इज फोरेंसिक मेडिसिन एंड व्हाट इज स्कोप एंड अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन फ्यूचर आफ्टर डूइंग पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन इन फोरेंसिक मेडिसिन सो टेल अस अबाउट लेट मी टेल यू शिवम लेट मी टेल यू द this is the most diverse branch i have ever encountered with like i am not uh, saying that other branches don't give you that much of opportunities but this branch like you can go into the academics you can go for the medico legal uh, officer job you can go for toxicology labs you can run your own poison center yes. i mean medico legal consultation investment fraud investigation the list can go on and on yes. so there is a huge scope huge opportunity and uh, likewise in future like you can see about the dna profiling digital yes. forensics ai based crime scene reconstruction mm -hmm. this all is going to be integrated in our work culture so now also there is uh, awareness and uh, uh, india is now realizing the importance of the medico legal experts yes. and in future the justice system will simply be incomplete without forensic doctors so yeah there's huge huge opportunities and also if we talk about academic wise in india the supply chain supply demand supply ratio of the forensic faculties is all imbalanced from the very yes, beginning true. so there's always be uh, you know a vacancy for the forensic faculty yes. so yeah there's huge scope yes okay so uh, webo tell us something about the work life balance uh, which is after doing a post graduation in forensic medicine because residency may come ho sakta hai but after uh, doing md forensic medicine what's the work life balance the see the compared to other specialties the work life balance is better in our branch okay there are fewer opts fewer op emergency calls occasionally there may be odd hours police cases but overall it can be manageable matlab you can say that a forensic doctor can enjoy their dinner with their family on the weekends and enjoy breakfast with truth on the mondays yes. so uh, we have uh, last but not the least the question which is frequently asked by so many neat pitch aspirants is what is the salary we get in a private institute in a certain branch so uh, what's about a uh, forensic medicine in a private medical college see uh, if i talk about the private institutes na uh, the salary the starting salary range from about 2 to 2.5 lakhs per month and uh, if uh, we talk about the government sector the salary is pretty much fixed uh, but on the long run by like uh, uh, on your medico legal consultation your court room appearances and uh, these uh, things can add a significant earning potential so yeah uh, you can say that uh, the after all truth has no market value but it has the ultimate value we may not earn like a radiologist or a cardiologist but we earn the respect and impact
and that's priceless thank you so much webber for joining us today thank you so much shivam for inviting me the pleasure is all mine lastly i can say that the forensic doctors are the actually the most underrated heroes of our society that's true because abhi tak jo scenario hai usme aisa hai ki ya to matlab jo apan mbbs mein deal karte hain ki forensic medicine mein kya hota hai ek to medical legal cases hain court room hai aur post mortem hai that's all par aapne aaj jo bhi hame bataya wo shayad mujhe bhi aaj itna knowledge nahi tha forensic ke bare mein जो आपने शेयर किया एंड आई होप कि नीट पीजे एक्सपाइंट जो इसको देख रहे हैं वीडियो को उन्हें इस ब्रांच के बारे में पता चलेगा और वो अच्छे से चॉइस फीलिंग कर सकेंगे नीट पीजे की थैंक यू सो मच शो ऑल द बेस्ट टू ऑल द नीट पीजे एक्सपायर ऑल द बेस्ट विश यू लव थैंक यू थैंक्स